Most people in America are looking for righteousness today. Righteousness is a belief that Jesus is behind them 100%. Well, Jesus is behind you, but he's also behind me and other people, according to Christianity. And when we don't listen carefully, when we don't hear people, when we don't allow people the right to be who God has called them to be, then we run into a society that is full of hatred, racism, and discrimination. Now, the word discrimination can be used and abused. Used in that it comes out of the kind of family of Latin words of like discernment. Discernment is I can discern from looking at you based on how long I've sat here, not as a loiterer, but as a worker, and basically as someone who has a quick gathering capability of, of visual data that you do not exactly fit the typical target demographic that goes to either of these stores or the one down there. But that's okay. It doesn't mean you have the right to explore. But what I also know is who I've reached out to talk to via my email address and via my telephone attempts and who was supposed to be allegedly coming to talk to me. What I see those people doing is really walking up, casually looking at me and walking away. Or walking up, talking to me about something absolutely stupid of the day and walking away. But what I gather them doing literally is coming up, walking up, looking at me and then comparing me to a black man on the street of any kind and choosing him over me. So my program get used to starve me and feed him. Now if I talk like this, people think I'm dirty or I'm greedy or I'm gluttonous. That's not true. The point is you didn't learn about this space of, or this place without me reaching out to you. And openly it was me that made the request for the assistance of benevolence. But what you're doing is taking your church's funds that you've gathered allegedly towards my program and doling it out in a way that God might not be pleased about. Now I can say that because here's how I know what people do. They fail to check themselves with God before they do what they do. The power of one is when you choose using your own funds to do something for someone, and that is totally within your lawful right. But my question to everyone who gets that inkling to help someone, did you say, God, is this the one? And you have to be willing to do that because Jesus gave you the satanic force. And the satanic force is the one that's going to challenge you to say, oh, don't do that one, do this one, and, and whatnot. And you have to bring yourself back into a prayer moment and really listen to the meditation if you don't have a unit of tool like I do that gives you the honest answer every time because you've completely submitted your own mind to say, I am not as wise as God about everything going on in this community. I am not as wise about God about everything that happens to these people in the street. I am not as wise as God to know everything that's going on with this person versus that person. But I can use my metaphysical mind, not at all. I can use my intellectual mind to assess something. Who's carrying blankets versus who's, who has a shelter? Who has food versus who doesn't? And when I start to ask those questions within my heart, soul, and mind, then I start to be guided by God and the angels around me that says, I am not as wise as, as God, so I'm going to check myself and I'm going to do my best to utilize my resources and my funds to help the one that needs it the most, to help the one that needs to go the furthest, and help the one that if they get far enough, they'll come back and help others.